Caspa Wasm offers a fantastic chance to create a mining pool service for your local community and promote decentralization. In this video, I'll introduce Caspool, an open source project for quickly building your backend service. I'll provide insights into the components and logic behind constructing such a service. Let's get started. Creating a mining pool service instead of using a solo miner via a, a stratum bridge offers several benefits. It allows you to pool resources with other miners, increasing the chances of earning rewards more consistently. You'll get something of the mining rewards, even if your individual contribution doesn't find a block. Additionally, running a mining pool can generate passive income through pool fees, contribute with the network decentralization, and build a local supportive community of Caspa miners all while contributing to the network's growth and security. Furthermore, you can enjoy additional rewards from the upcoming KRC20 initiative, enhancing your earnings. Using Wasm for creating a mining pool offers significant benefits. Business-wise, it reduces development time and cost by providing pre-built open source components, accelerating your time to market. Technically, Wasm ensures cross-platform compatibility, high performance and security, it simplifies the integration with Caspa's ecosystem, allowing you to focus on custom features and optimization, like uh, the front end or growing your subscription base. Additionally, running a Caspa WASM based pool helps test and validate this framework, providing valuable feedback to the Caspa core team. Caspool is an open source project based on the original work by Caffeine PX, a key contributor to the Caspa core team and the development of WSM in collaboration with Aspect. Caspool provides a comprehensive mining pool solution, allowing miners to subscribe and submit their shares efficiently. It includes components for reward distribution, metrics monitoring via popular tools like Prometheus, and APIs for front-end information such as miner rewards balance and pool configurations. I extend my gratitude to Caffeine PX and Aspect for their invaluable technical support and special thanks to Argo Mining for providing their development and testing platform. Contact details are in the video description. Don't forget to follow them. For more details, I recommend checking the links uh, uh, in the description and comments. There is extensive uh, documentation explaining the components and guiding you through the installation step by step. In the last section of this video, I will show you how to install this pool uh, in just a few steps. OK, time to kick things off. Once the RPC connection is established, the pool initializes the treasury, which listens for UTXO events. Next, templates are fetched and stored to generate job IDs for miners. These jobs are then distributed to miners for processing. Miners connect to the pool via the Stratum protocol, subscribing and submitting their work shares. The shares are validated and their difficulties checked. Valid shares are counted and blocks found are recorded. The pool uses this data to calculate contributions of each miner. Periodically, the pool uh, distributes rewards based on each miner's contribution, allocating payments from the treasury and having them ready for the next uh, payment cycle. Processes UTXO events and calculates rewards and fees. It listens for UTXO events, tracking the pool address, and handles reward distribution by emitting Coinbase uh, events with the calculated rewards and fees. The templates class handles the creation, management, and submission of mining templates for Caspa. It interacts with the RPC client to fetch new block templates, store them, and process mining submissions. When a miner finds a valid nonce, submit updates, the block header finalizes the block and submits it to the network. The class maintains a cache of templates and ensures the cache size does not exceed a specified limit. A nonce is a random number that miners adjust to find a valid block hash. The goal is to find a nonce that, when combined with the block's data and hashed, produces a hash value that meets the network's difficulty target. The jobs class manages job identifiers for mining templates. It generates unique IDs for each job using random values and stores, the mapping between job IDs and template hashes. The class also provides a functionality to retrieve the hash for a given job ID and to expire old job from the mapping to manage memory usage efficiently. The templates class integrates with jobs to create and track mining jobs, ensuring miners have valid templates to work on and facilitating the submission and tracking of mine blocks. The Stratum class handles mining pool operations by managing connections with miners and processing their work submissions. 
Upon initialization, it sets up a server and assigns uh, difficulty levels. The class uses a shares manager instance to manage shares submitted by miners. It periodically adjusts mining difficulty based on miner performance through a variable difficulty, var diff. When miners connect and subscribe, the class verifies their addresses and assigns work templates for them to solve. The onMessage method processes incoming requests from miners. If a share is valid and not a duplicate, it's added to the contribution map to calculate their share of the rewards. The pool class handles the distribution of mining rewards to miners. When a miner subscribes or a Coinbase event occurs, it logs the activity, adds the total mining revenue to the database, calculates each miner's share of the reward based on their contributions, adding their earned balance to the database. Let's walk now over the installation process. First, you'll need a Linux system with Docker container runtime. The more resources your server has, CPU and memory, the more miners it can manage. You can deploy multiple servers, each running one pool in various locations, and consolidate the views via your front end. Next, clone the Caspool app repository or download the Docker Compose YAML file, download the WASM SDK zip file, extract the node libraries, and rename the extracted directory to UASM. Follow the instructions to set up the required folders and files. One key file is config.json, which defines everything in your pool, along with the environment variables in the env file. In config.json, you can configure elements like the network, payment cycles, for example, every two or 12 hours, difficulty, the number of shares per minute for variable difficulty calculation, and the fee, for example, a value of five means a 0.5% fee. For environment variables, you can create a separate .adnv file for each service to enhance security. Finally, all Docker images are available online, so you can start everything with Docker Compose App V. Once the service is running, I recommend setting the debug environment variable to one to monitor activity. Use Docker logs, Caspool app to check the pool server, and Docker logs, uh, Caspool payment to track payment cycles. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe.